Okay. Uh, so today I'm going to be introducing the two uh, Google AI Y project kits. So we have the vision kit over here, and we also have the voice kit over here. So these projects are from Google. They're based on a Raspberry Pi Zero. So it offers, although it's limited computing power, it has Google's libraries, such as uh, for voice and also vision, which makes uh, performing these basic tasks very easy, especially with the help of Google's APIs. So to demonstrate, I'm going to first start with the voice kit. So let's first start with Google's voice kit. So the voice kit comes in with a built-in microphone, a speaker, and a button on top with different colors, which allows for user feedback. So this demo is using Google's uh, Cloud to Text API, which basically takes in recordings of one's voice and can convert that to text. So that can do commands. Turn off light. Okay, turn off light. It can turn off the light. So, using these APIs, you can control different functions. For instance, tell me a quote. Measuring programming progress by lines of code is like measuring aircraft moving progress by weight. No gaze. So here it gives you a quote by Bill Gates. So using Google's APIs, we can get a lot of really cool features done. This can also, I, I also programmed in a calculator function, so it can do complicated mathematical operations as well. Calculate five to the power of four divided by three plus seven. The answer is 215.333. Finally, it also has functionality which ties into Google's Assistant API, which is the same Google Assistant that's used on Android operating systems. Activate Google Assistant. What's the weather like in Cambridge? Currently in Cambridge, it's 82 and partly cloudy. The forecast tonight is 76 and partly cloudy. So clearly with Google's voice kit, a APIs such as Google's Cloud to Text and also Google's Assistant API, we can get a lot of basic speech recognition tasks done on a very low power.